might be a little bit, you know, nagging, a little bit uh, moody, a little bit of, um, you know, there are so many things that you can say, but the bottom line is that women are the most beautiful of all human creation, you know, they are amazing. We cannot possibly enjoy this life if there were no women. Hey, what's up? I've been thinking about this and I think that women are so amazing. Women are just beautiful. Women are just gorgeous. Women are just sweet to be with. Women are just motherly. Women are just cool and kind and, and, and they're this, this breed of people that, you know, makes the world go around. They make us wake up every day to go to work and they push us every day to do a lot of things and they, they, they motivate us. You know, women are just amazing. I mean, like, if you don't like women, what else can you ever like? It's a truth that you don't want to accept. But stay tuned. Before the end of this video, I'm going to be telling you exactly why I love women so much. And I honestly and truly love women. I do. So, I've always wondered, and I'm sorry if I try to project my uh, toxic masculinity, but I always don't understand, I don't get it, when a man claims to have fallen in love with, a, with another man. I mean, like, dude, what's up? How do you do that? I mean, how do we even imagine it? Don't even, no, don't even take me to imagining it. How does it even cross your mind that you can be in love with another man and get emotionally attached to the point that you get uh, physical and you make out and you even end up in bed how i mean man dude this is my personal opinion of, of, of course but i feel like and when i say that i love women you've got to understand and by the end of this video you will have known why so welcome again to another episode of chris daily and today i'm not talking about my exes i'm talking about the reasons or rather why i love women so it was just like two days ago and two days ago i was just chilling at home it was a few like an hour to nine which means that it was an hour to uh coffee to the cafe. so my i get this news that someone who is close to me was not feeling well and i had to drive to where they were pick them up and take them to the hospital and i did it i i didn't even think twice I actually went with my, some sandals that I normally wear at home that are kind of uh, not that interesting and I was just looking rough. So there was no time because it was kind of an emergency. So I was my friend and I left my friend at, at the house and we were trying to get dinner ready. So I just left and told him not and will be back. So I went to the hospital, we get there. No. There are a few things that happened as I was at the hospital that triggered the emotions and, and the ideas that I'm, I'm bringing to you on screen today. And one of them is the fact that um, women go through so much in their process of bringing life to the world. From day one, where they get pregnant, their bodies swell, um, their moods change and everything about them becomes entirely different from the person that you knew. You know, this person doesn't even understand who she is. So you say hi to someone and their response will depend on the moods they are in. It just happens that way. It is the way the hormones play ping pong on their systems. So now I'm at the hospital and as this uh, person that I was taken to the hospital is getting attended to because it was an emergency so they were just taken in and I was late at the reception to take care of some other things so as I was there uh, there comes this guy I think one of the people that had brought him was a brother either the wife the girlfriend or let's just say that it was the spouse so they come in and then behind them is a the mother and like two of our friends so this guy 
he's wearing a hoodie and some sandals. So I, I believe probably he had uh, fallen when he was when he, when he was drunk or something. So the spouse is holding him, and uh, they're just walking in, and he's kind of uh, staggering. So they come and sit like a few uh, chairs next to me, and I'm observing them. This guy seems to be in pain. First of all, he's uh, dirty. He seems to have matope everywhere, uh, and um, I believe he had probably fallen. So what happens? Uh, you know, when, when you settle down after like an accident, your adrenaline now begins to go down. So this guy, when he settled down, he begins to get to, to feel the pain that he was experiencing. And this guy, the first thing he does, he calls his mom. Mama, naumwa. Dakitari you know. And then the mom, and trust me, this guy is like, from the look of things, he's about 30 or something like that. And uh, the wife is holding him, and the mom is there. The brothers are actually chatting outside. So now, the mother comes to my son. What is it? What is giving you this uh, discomfort? So the mother is holding him on one side. The girl from the spouse is holding him on the other side, and the guy kind of uh, cools down, and that got me thinking. There is something that never changes, whether you are 20, 10, 1, or 100, and you have your mother alive, your mother will never look at you like a grown-up. She will always look at you and see her toddler, her child. That is why these people are very special in our lives, you know. And this guy, when he was in pain, he didn't call his dad. I don't mean that dads are bad. I just mean that they have a special function in the, in the, in the process of bringing up children, rather in the parenting uh, paradigm. So he didn't call up his daddy. He was calling the mom. And the spouse was there holding uh, him on one side, the mother on the other side. So these people together, they helped him calm down. And he was quiet again. He was like getting through it well so now have been thinking when someone with the, with the recent events that have been happening in our country with our politicians are uh, trading words i don't want to mention names or rather i don't want to take sides but there's something that is very important for us to understand i want us to think about this whether your mom is a witch a sorcerer a murderer or whoever or whatever character she has how would you feel if someone spoke bad against her? I'm not taking sides. I'm just saying that there is a way that we should be able to understand uh, about sorting differences without involving our moms. Because mothers, if you have a mother, you know how it feels to have your mother being uh, disrespected. So today, this video is just a random one. I was just thinking that it is important for us to understand that women are amazing people. And you've got to just love them because they come with a specific and a, and a special blessing to our lives. They don't just come and uh, they're not just people, you know, they have a special function. The roles they play in parenting and stuff like that, they bring a respect to them and taking care of them brings a special kind of favor brings me back to the, to the question of my video that i did that i'm doing right now i'm i'm telling you basically why i love women so much and don't get it twisted when i say women i don't mean girls and uh, girlfriends and uh, fiancés or rather you know i mean the female humans in general you know my mother is a woman I have siblings, some of them are women. My grandma was a woman. My aunties are women. And I have seen the kind of life they go through and they try to make their families happy. You know, the emotions that they have to endure to ensure that their families are happy, to ensure that you, the man, or the other person that is uh, in the family, you know, to, to just ensure that things are okay at home. So, I have special respect for women and I, I wish that all of us would be like that, you know. As much as we respect the men in our lives, 
our dads, our brothers. We understand that women, we are built in a way that we can endure difficulties. We can insult each other, we can fight and still, you know, find a way to get around it. But the moment you tell a woman, whether it's your mother or your relative or your friend or your ex-girlfriend or your whatever, whoever it is, something that is uh, hurtful, they will not forget it. It will take them a long, long time to get through it. When even if you apologize, it doesn't always go easy. So it's a challenge to all of us. And to look for ways to sort out our differences with the women in our lives without having to get physical, without having to trade insults, and without having to make them feel less of themselves. I hope this helps you and helps all of us live better lives than we already have. And if we have had some good lives, it will help us to get even better. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, please, there's a button there at this corner saying subscribe. Please click that button. It will take you to um, the prompt. And like my video if you enjoyed it, if you find it informative or educative. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And lastly, don't forget that the stories of my ex are still uh, coming through. So before the end of the week, I'm hoping that I do another story. I have some, some of them that are recorded already, but I didn't get time to edit them and post them, but I do it for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be saying adios and see you again soon. This is Chris Daly and the ladies say that it's Chris with a capital.